So in this video today, we are going to be learning how to create a presentation and how to record it and present it simultaneously and then how to download that presentation and use it or send it to your students or use it in your class or you can upload it somewhere for your students. Okay, so what we are going to learn first is how to create a presentation in Canva. Okay, so I'm here in Canva that is www.canva.com. Okay, it's a free software and uh, it, it is also paid that is called Canva Pro. It's a subscription based uh, software where you have to pay every month. But most of the features that are there are free. So it is a very good one and you can use that to create um, graphics for your classroom. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top right corner that is create a design. So now here I'm going to go to create a design and select presentation. Now here in presentation, you're going to get a blank presentation like so. But you're also going to get on the left hand side some templates. Now, What's great about Canva is you get a lot of templates in this. So what, what do you mean by templates is you get these ready made presentations that you can use, um, you know, directly instead of going and doing it from scratch. Now here, if you click on see all on your left hand side, you get a lot of templates. Okay. Now, if I want to select any one, I'll select this English lesson one and you see that it has 18 pages and it, you can see all the pages right over here. Okay, the color, everything. So if you click on one page, it's going to just insert one page with all the elements. Okay, and you can change the color here. Uh, uh, any color that you want but if you want the complete presentation you'll have to go to apply all 18 pages now when you click on that you can see that all of the slides come onto your presentation now you have 18 slides here ready for you okay now you just have to go and click wherever the uh, text is there just double click it you can see that the box is coming underneath as well that means it is grouped means two text boxes are grouped together so if you want to make any changes to this you have to just click on this and have to go to ungroup which will ungroup the text and you can use them as a single Text. So this is one and this is one. So now if you want to change this, you can just click on it and double click it and everything will get selected and then click backspace and then type what you want to write. Okay. If you want to add any text, you can add from here on the left hand side text and then you have option heading and then you have subheading and a little bit of body text so if you want a subheading click on it and you'll get the subheading here just take it and place it where you want and then you can write your text okay and here on the top you have all this format option that is font you have font you can change the font. This is the font that's been used in this presentation that will be shown over here at the top. And then you have font size. I think the font size is okay. And you have the font color, okay, text color. Uh, here you can select the text color. And then you have lots of options here. Alignment is there, center, left, right. And then you can also use it as a list like bullets. And then you have spacing. So if you have two, um, if you have two lines, you can use line spacing. If you want to give space between these letters, you can go to letter spacing like so, see? And then you have effects, effects, nothing but some text effects like this gives shadows and this gives some lift and this is called hollow, just the outline and splice. They're good ones and you can also, if you select any uh, effect, you have the options to customize it over here, like this thickness and then offset and then also the color of the border that's been given, the inside of the text over here. Now I'll just do control Z or you can go to this 
undo button over here. Now it's changed to how it was. We'll just click this and then this is done. Now next slide here. If you see, you can see a lady here who is having the Canva watermark here. What is, what is this watermark is because this element is of a pro uh, subscription. So this is free. So you cannot use this one. When you click on it, you get remove watermarks. Okay. So if you click on remove watermark, you'll have to buy that image. Okay. You have to buy that image. So you have to purchase it for see $8. So just what you can do is delete this element. You can go to elements on the left hand side and type teacher. Now, since we are dealing with presentation for class, we can type teacher. Now here in this teacher, you will get a lot of free ones. This like this is free. This is pro version. So you can click on this one. Now what's fantastic about all of this is you can customize the color of the element the way you want it. So now her color, you can, when you click over here, you will get all the colors that element has. So here you can click on that the dress color and change it to something which is more visible in this presentation. Okay. Or which is more suitable for this presentation. Now, like so, you have a lot of others, uh, other slides like class objectives and you have over here lessons for today. Whatever you want to write here, just double click it and then everything will get selected and then you can type in your text. Okay, now next moving on to notes. Now somewhere, uh, maybe here, you would like to you would like to write the notes here. Maybe you want to read out something which you don't want the students to see. So down at the bottom, you have notes, okay? Here, notes will be displayed in the present view. So just over here, you can type, this is my notes. You can type in here, whatever you want for that slide. And when you move on to the next slide, again, you'll have notes appearing here. Okay, after that, you click on notes again, that will disappear. And then any time, any point of time, you can click on any of the elements and you can change the colors, okay? And after that, when you come and you want to um, animate the elements in the uh, in the presentation, what you can do is just click over here and then you can go to animate. And animation also has a lot of options and it has also paid options. The free options are block, okay, breathe, fade, pan and rise and tumble so all of these are animations you can use any one or you can just keep it none all right after this you uh, can come to the end if you want to delete anything you can just click on this and click over here on the right hand side on the top you have options either to duplicate that page or delete that page or add a page after this slide you can add another page so here i want to delete this so i can click on delete okay now if you see here in this presentation they've given you some uh, free icons so you can click over here and you can copy uh, you can copy this and go to any one slide you want it you have to control v that is space okay and you can use this like this and keep it over here all right now after this once you are done and everything now we are going to present it and while presenting we are going to be in the presentation as well so we'll see how to do that now that the presentation is ready you can give it uh, a presentation a name over here okay and then you can go over these three dots and click you have some options here you can use present and record now it's going to give you the option here download with canva pro because we are using canva pro uh, elements okay just go over here to go to recording studio okay it will come as set up your camera and microphone now uh, you just have to click on start recording now get ready and just looking at this you can see that you have the notes over here so simultaneously you can see the notes and down over here you can see what's going to come next and you can see this red color border 
which means this much is getting presented okay all right with your uh, video in it now you just have to click on this or you can click uh, on your uh, keyboard arrow keys to move uh, further and backward so you can just read over here and just you can speak and everything is getting recorded and um, in uh, any time you want to pause the presentation you can click on pause okay and you want to end it you can click on end recording now as I go forward okay you can see everything and you can see the notes this is what I had written and you can see the notes here so it's very easy this is called the presenter view okay where you, you can see your notes now once you finish it you just have to click on end recording now this is uploading your recording to canva okay don't close this just let it upload completely okay now that it is ready either you get a copy link with anyone with this link who um, is having this link can see this video right away okay no need to sign in that person whomever you want to send the video presentation to can see it with this link okay you can just click on this link or you can save and exit or you can download now what we're going to do is this download Now you can see that here it is getting downloaded and here you can see the preview of what is going on and here you can see that my video is getting downloaded. The more uh, bigger the video means more duration the more time is going to take because it has to download right. Okay now that your download is ready right here you can click and see how the video looks like. So when you open it your video is going to play. And just looking at this, you can see that you have the note. So, simultaneously, you can see the note. So, uh, you can see the note. Now, once you finish it, you just have to click on the note. Okay, now that you're done and you have the video downloaded, you can upload it to your Google Drive and share it with your students, or you can send the link and share it with them. So I hope this video was really useful for you and I hope you will create a presentation in Canva because it's that easy. You, all you have to do is use some template and the students will really love it with all these elements. It's going to look really good. So I hope you use it and you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any doubts or you want to recommend any videos that you want me to do, in canva next time please put it in the comment section below okay then i'll see you next time thank you